Hello, fellow literary peeps. It's your poet and English teacher extraordinaire, Michelle, with Poetry Saved My Life. And yes, it did, honey. <laughs> um, how do you, how you might ask? Well, remember those teenage years, hormones raging, no one to talk to? Poetry. Anytime you're in love and you don't know how to expect it, expect it, express it, poetry. When you hate somebody but you can't say it to their face, poetry. When you're depressed, poetry. When you witness beauty, poetry. I want to start this series with Emily Dickinson. Emily is one of my all-time favorite American poets. A little bit of background on Emily. She was born in Massachusetts in 1830 and Miss Dickinson died at only the age of 55, so pretty young, um, in 1886. She was quite eccentric, uh, didn't have a lot of friends, never married, and really didn't like people too much. She didn't get out much. Yeah. She sort of kept to herself and to her writing. That was her escape. That was her life, poetry. She was a very prolific writer, although most of her poetry wasn't published, at least not in its original form, until after she died. So sort of a tragic life there, Emily. Her poems are often untitled and very unconventional for the time in that they didn't always rhyme. And if they did, they didn't really follow any um, pattern, not like a pentameter or anything like that. And um, they often dealt with death and immortality. Those were the major themes of her, the bulk of her work. So today we're gonna to start with um, one of her more famous poems. It's called, I Am Nobody, Who Are You? Now, I'm not gonna tell you what it means because I am a staunch believer in you don't read poems, the poems read you. And what the poems mean is different for everyone based on your own personal beliefs, experiences, wisdom, knowledge, stupidity, <laughs> everything about you. That's why poetry is so beautiful. It's about the words, it's about the experience, and it's about how it makes you feel. A good poem should change you in some way, and I hope that this one will do that for you as it has done for me. Um, please give me a like and a comment. Let me know what you think the poetry, this po particular poem means, what she was trying to say, or what it means to you. And please check back again for the next series and some more from Emily Dickinson as well. Please hit that subscribe button and you have a great, lovely, beautiful day. As with a lot of Emily Dickinson's poems, this one was written as an untitled poem, um, but we're gonna go ahead and call it I'm Nobody. Here we go. I'm nobody, who are you? Are you nobody too? Then there's a pair of us, don't tell. They'd banish us, you know. How dreary to be somebody, how public like a frog. To tell your name the live long day to an admiring bog. Wow. I hope you enjoyed it. I will leave a link in the description to the book that I read from. Talk to you soon.